This is the Hypergee from Swiss Watch Company. I wanted to see the finishing for myself because I still can't believe this is titanium. I'm Francois, and it's time to watch. I bought this watch last July and I did an unboxing. And since then, I wore the watch on and off, but for the last two weeks, I've worn this one nonstop. And so this is kind of a long-term review and I'll go through the different specs. I'll talk about Swiss watch company itself. And of course, I'll put this on my wrist and conclude this review. So of course, don't forget to press that like button if you like these types of reviews. It truly helps the channel. And subscribe, press that notification bell, and you'll be notified of my upcoming reviews. One of which will be this one. The Solios Solar Watch. This one specifically is unique. There's no other watch like this on Earth. Stay tuned and you'll see why. Another reason why you should be notified is that I'm getting up to 1,000 subscribers and I have this watch to give away. So stick around and you'll see what it is a bit later. Now that we're done with the housekeeping items, let's talk about Swiss Watch Company. This company was founded in 1996. They were building watches for the armed forces till 2008. And after that time, they facilitated the manufacturing for other brands, right up to 2018, where they decided to build their own designs, one of which is this Hyper-G. I bought this Hyper-G directly on their website, and they're still available. They have a black version, a blue, a green, a slate gray, and a burgundy, just like this one. So all in all, I have three Swiss watch company watches, the Bunker, the Arc, and this Hyper-G. There's also a newcomer, the Arc GMT, and they have an original twist on the GMT function. So I'll leave a link in the description so that you can see it for yourself. Let's now get into the specs, and after I'll give you my impressions after this longer term review. So this watch has a 40.5 millimeter diameter, a 47.8 lug to lug, a very manageable 22 millimeter lug width, a very thin 10.6 millimeter thickness with a sapphire crystal on top, and it has 100 meters of water resistance. On this strap, the total weight is 56 grams, but you'll see, uh, I'll show you a few of the other straps that you can put with this watch, but with the specific nylon Velcro that I bought from their website, it brings it down to 51 grams. So it's feather light. So being feather light brings me to my initial statement. I can't believe this is titanium. I'm used to seeing kind of a finish that is bead blasted, a kind of a pale gray on titanium watches, or, well, at least the ones I have. But this one here, you see a nice brushing on the sides, which brings right up to the lug. And then you have that chamfer right there, that kind of a bevel that is high polished, and it ties in well with the with the brushing on the top of the uh, the lug itself. On top of that, you have that fixed bezel that is high polished as well. So you have a great finish on a titanium watch. There are a few other, I would say, items that I really like, but others that I don't like. So let's get into that. Hey, sorry for cutting in here. I want you to stay tuned for a watch giveaway. I'm creeping up on 1,000 subscribers and I just want to thank you. Stay tuned. So what I really like is the great legibility of this watch. Of course, that burgundy dial is a bit darker and you have a great contrast between the numerals and the hands themselves. It has great loom. And I know that SWC are renowned for their loom, so 
I'll show you a few um, shots of the loom, but not just that, is if you look closer, you have that height within the numerals that adds that um, obvious height of 22 layers of a loom. You have a solid movement inside, and uh, it's operated by this signed and screwed down crown. So you have that peace of mind of that 100 meter of water resistance. You have that great titanium finish, and it also is treated to add a, a hardness to the titanium. As we all know, titanium is a scratch prone, let's say. If you look closer, there's kind of a, on the case, a, a cutout so that it gives space to the strap itself. But this brings me to one of the not so good points. If you notice at the top here, the tolerances are very tight with that, even if they have that kind of a, of a flat item on the case, is that depending on the tension you have on your strap, it still scratches the, um, the strap itself, as you can see right here on the markings. One of my, I would say, major negative points is that screw down experience, quote unquote. It's as if the stem that is supposed to accept the crown is not built for one another. The experience is hard to, to screw in and it's kind of gritty. It doesn't catch all the time. So I, I, I don't know what happened there, but I'll see with them, with the team. I know there's a three year warranty on this watch and I don't know if this is covered or not, but I'll look further into that. So that movement is a positive, but the screw down experience to operate the movement is not. And my last item, negative item I would say, is that I don't know if it's because of the soft iron core or the, the design of the, um, of the case itself, but the ticking of the movement is very loud. Of course, when I work, it's not always very loud in my office and I can hear the ticking. So it's kind of a small nitpick, but it's still there. Before I put it on my wrist, let's look at the case back. Of course, you see the writing right there, all titanium, grade five. So that's one proof it's titanium, but the other one is the typical patina that you have from having titanium on your wrist. I like that patina, and of course, it's just one proof that it's titanium. So let me put it on my wrist, and we'll see what it looks like, and then I'll conclude this review. Here it is on my seven inch wrist. So I like the fact that it's very thin. I like the way the uh, polish and the combination of brushing plays with the light and it's really nice and legible. The size is perfect for my wrist. That strap is well chosen. That contrasting stitching goes well with the numerals and the hands themselves. This concludes my review of this Hyper G and I hope you like these types of reviews. So don't forget to press the like button and of course, don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so that you'll be notified of all my upcoming reviews. So I truly appreciate you tuning in and I hope to see you next time.